Hello YouTubers again. Uh, we've already been over my plane, uh, but there's a couple things that I wanted to go over. I got another set of the Pro 180 motors, and there's not a single video on YouTube about how to take the pinions off. Uh, because honestly, the shaft on these are, I'll compare them to the old motors. As you can see, I've already got, I've already installed uh, the extremes, extreme 180s on my plane, but I got a second set just in case. I want to compare the old and the new. Here's old motor. This is the stock motor. And as you can see on it, see if it'll focus. As you can see on the shaft, it has uh it's grooved. It has these little grooves that hold on to the propeller. And you can actually spin it. Uh with the Pro One, these are actually made for uh, the East Sky 300 helicopters to give them uh, more torque. Uh, you can buy silver brushes for them, but like I said, when you get them, these little capacitors are, as you see, flush. Uh, in order to put them in your plane, your Delta Ray or your uh, Stratus. You have to bend these up and sort of down like that. Up. And down. Because, and I'll show you the reason why. Inside of there, you can actually see on each side of it, there is a, a little white, little, let's see the little white things on both sides. They make it so uh, you can't just slide them in with the uh, capacitors just laying flush against the motor. So that's why you have to push them up like that. Uh, they are not plug and play. You, uh, well, they actually, no, I don't think they are. Uh, all you do is simply unsolder from right here. And here's the big thing put them side by side. The stock motors have a longer shaft. And you can also see the, uh, the stock motors ha do not have replaceable brushes. The 180s have replaceable brushes. You just pop them out of there and you put the new ones in. And also, uh, in this, you have that heat sink right there. Uh, I've already been over in another video, but you have to remove this screw, this screw, and that screw, and then. The top will pop off, but do it gently because there is glue holding it on. And one thing you have to do is, for the propellers to stay on well, you have to take this pinion off. Now the way I did it, get up under it with a flathead and just pry up. And you can see, it's coming up. I'm not damaging, damaging the motors at all. This is exactly what I did for the motors that are in my uh, plane right now. But as you can see, the pinion's damn near off. All you gotta do is continue prying. Until the pinion comes off. And there you go. Now, here is the big thing. As you notice, well, the shaft is about the same length. 
but the stock propellers that come with this these put out so much torque and they spin so fast I mean these the, the stock I can grab and spin I cannot spin that with my fingers it hurts I mean you, you have to have a pair of pliers or something so you're going to need to get what's called collets and all you do with these I'll take one off to show but this is the most secure way to make sure you don't lose any props You're going to have to drill out the center with a, I can't remember what size drill bit. All you gotta do is uh, get a drill bit and uh, compare it to the size of the collet and then make sure it's a, uh, if you get the right uh, drill bit you can actually get the exact size. But as you see on the back, there's a little hole, and that goes over the mount. So I'm going to show it actually on this motor. It goes over the mount like that. And then you take your propeller, you put it down, push it on there well, and then uh, position the everything where you want it then take the little cone and as you spin it on and it presses up against the propeller it gives you a hole to put a tool in but as you tighten it down the collet will tighten down on the shaft now <clears throat> It will not come off. Will not. And you can see, I mean, you can just physically see the difference in the amount of torque that you get with these. So, these are amazing little motors. Uh, when you do move the uh, capacitors up, and like that you have to make sure this little wire right here is not grounded out on the metal so lift that little wire up make sure it's not touching and then just make sure that the two capacitors are basically touching like that as long as the wires aren't touching you'll be fine the capacitors can touch because they are shielded from each other with uh, insulation so that that's how the collets work and I actually painted my props and uh, the nose cone for my collets, basically the tightener for my collets, orange. So if by chance it comes off, I'll be able to find it. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is figure out some way to connect this to the motor so it'll spin, like tie something back here onto the little shaft. So if this falls off, and also put it through the, get, get like some fishing line, put it through the propeller, and then uh, through this little hole right here, and tie it off back here to the shaft because it's, it's going to have to spin. And then, even if they do fall off, they'll just hang. But that's basically it. Uh... I, what I did was I took a Dremel and seeing that the stock motors are have those grooves I took my Dremel and I simply just roughed up you can see that you can see the difference the brand new and shiny the uh, the ones I already have installed are sort of a uh, 
dull looking and basically gives the collet more to grab onto. And again, I'll show how the collet goes on. Just put it on there. Don't push it all the way to the center. I mean, all the way against, because then you'll have friction. You'll have the plastic, metal to plastic friction, and you don't want that. So you just put it on. Put your tool through the hole. <laughs> That's what she said. You see, you just tighten it down, nice and tight, but don't strip it. And then you have propellers that are not press fit anymore. They are on there. They are not coming off during flight unless you don't tighten this. But with the paint that I used, it sort of, and the lower, the back part actually sort of have grooves in it that holds on to the propeller so you can tighten this and hold the propeller and then tighten the center. But that's how you take the pinion off the uh, Pro 180s and how you bend the capacitors so they will fit. I'm putting them back down for now because these are my spares. So when uh, the the really cool thing is the brushes are replaceable. All you have to do is unsolder uh, this right here and this wire, and then get up under that with a flathead or something and just pop the old ones out I'm not going to because I don't need to but they just pop out of place and they come out like this so actually they're in an L shape and at the bottom once you pop it out it'll just come out and then you see here up at the top these run on ball bearings the stock uh, you can actually somewhat see uh, it, I doubt the camera will be able to see it but these are on a bush a uh, brass bushing that's the stock motors the uh, pro 180s by extreme production are ball bearing front and back and you can see that in the back the the Pro 180s are actually a little longer overall because you have all this in the back so you can uh, take the brushes in and out right now I just have the carbon brushes uh, I'm gonna end up ordering some silver brushes and see how much of a difference it makes if it doesn't make much of a difference I really don't care but that's pretty much it uh, I'm gonna put this pinion back on here for now and it it goes on pretty much the same way you just got to push it on and then uh, get around it with a uh, some kind of tool that has a very small opening in the center and just push it down back into place trust me these motors can take it I've already done it so that's how to take the pinion off uh, the upgraded collet so instead of having press on propellers, press fit propellers, you actually have a uh, mechanical fasten propellers now. So, I mean absolutely incredible motors. So much damn power. The original ones, uh, when I would put it up against the wall and test the motors and everything and they would hold on to the props every time. Well, every time I went to gas it up, the props came off, and you can actually see on my hand where one of the props hit and sliced me open. <laughs> and I was actually standing back, and it came back and hit me. That's how powerful these little suckers are. And uh, they're, like I said, they're meant for a coaxial helicopter. Those are the helicopter with a the two uh, counter rotating blades. Uh, and in the helicopter, you actually have to move the uh, pinions around because one goes on a top 
gear and one goes on a lower gear. So you'll have to you'll have to move one of the pinions up. And these magnets are so strong, watch. I'm trying to push them together and I'm having to use my hands because but <clears throat> stock there's still one in the plastic I mean it doesn't even catch through the plastic watch what happens when I put the extremes in their, their plastic and you can see how much power the magnets have that's how much power extra power you're going to have just, I mean, just that visual representation shows how much extra power you have because I don't know if they use neodymium magnets in it, but they use some pretty tough damn magnets. So, now, if you want to put some uh, Extreme Pro 180 motors on your Stratus or uh, Delta Ray, Make sure you get, these are two millimeter collets. Uh, I'll actually get the little bag. They come from E-Flight. Uh, they were four dollars a piece. They're called Prop Adapter with Collet, two millimeter. EFLM1920 is the product number. Advanced Electric Flight, E-Flight. And these, they come, they're aluminum, they're silver. Uh, that's why you got to be careful when you're tightening them, uh, so you don't strip them. But no more props falling off or having to worry about them falling off during flight or landing. They're not coming off. Or there was one time that I accidentally got stuck in a tree, and uh, when it stopped, the uh, the propellers stopped moving and the motor continued spinning, and both propellers fell off. I was able to find both of them, thankfully, but uh, I had ended up, before I had these collets, I had ended up uh, drilling all the way through the old ones, one of, one of the old props, and then I put some hot glue, some really dense hot glue in the center, and I drilled out through the center and tried to put it on. That wouldn't even hold it in place, and the hot glue sort of worked. Even once you drill through hot glue, it doesn't it'll sort of shrink back down so it'll sort of work as a pinch but even then it wouldn't hold on that's why I rec I 100% recommend getting some uh, prop adapters with collets the only thing you have to do is you have to drill out the center of the propellers no big deal especially uh, you can do it by hand I did it by hand let me see if I have the uh... yeah, here's, here's the drills drill bits and here is the one I used. So all you do is just take your propeller and do it by hand. It's not hard. Uh, you can use a pair of pliers to help, but you just take your propeller and put it in the little hole and start spinning. And seeing that this is a clockwise, it will actually pull itself through while it's ripping off the old plastic, well, cutting off the old plastic. So, I guess that's it for this video. Great little motors. Uh, if you want extra power, please go to these. Uh, you can get them uh, a lot of different places. Just type in Extreme Pro 180 Motors. Most of them have them sold out, but go to... Uh, what was the name? eskyhelicopters.com and that's where I got these from uh, and they always have them in stock uh, I went to another one that started like uh, with a boomerang hobbies or something like that I can't remember exactly but they were sold out even extreme production was sold out of them but eSky helicopters actually had them so that's it for this video until next time peace